Greetings everybody, this is Elias Planakos from Wireless Insider and today I have with me the Samsung Galaxy Ace S5830 from TELUS here in Canada. We're going to go over the features, the startup time, a general layout of the software, how it works for web browsing, a sunlight test, and a list of small things that you may or may not have known about that may make or break your decision to go out and consider this phone to be in your pocket. So you know what? Less talk, more action. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alrighty, so the phone comes in a nice real small box here. It seems to be traditional with a lot of manufacturers nowadays. Nice and quaint, very cute, alright. And picture of the phone with uh, some specs on the front here. Let's go ahead and open it from the bottom. Alright, okay. Hey, there we go. Got the phone just looking at us, greeting us. Nice wrap, great. And, ooh, micro SD memory card adapter for uh, micro SD to SD, so that's cool to see. Let's get that out of here for now. Uh, literature. Ooh, look at this. That is cool. It comes with an optional white back plate. There it is. Yeah, black comes on the phone and white comes in the box as well if you want to whiteify your phone. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, stereo headphone jack. Uh, battery. Very nice big battery. Good to see. Data cable and uh, home chargers in there as well. So go ahead, let's put this stuff all on the side for now. Let's take this guy out. And, uh, We'll go back to the battery in a second. So let's take a quick look at the actual phone itself, the hardware. Let's get this sticker out here too. There we go. So, nice uh, chrome trim all around the phone. It is uh, made of plastic, of course. Uh, on the side we have the volume rockers. Uh, cool little, oh, they have a little attachment so you can put a charm. So you have a little keychain charm, you can hang it there. Eh, that's cool. Uh, at the bottom we have our microphone. On the right side we have a micro SD memory card slot, which is hidden by a little cover. So uh, it's not in the back of the phone, it's on the side power button and standby standoff and we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a, a nice little feature here it uh, has a covered micro USB charging port so that's nice to see especially since it's at the top of the phone you want to make sure if it's like drizzling raining or anything like that you don't want any dirt or water getting in there so very nice to see that there by Samsung on the front of the phone you can see the one only physical dedicated button now this takes you back to the home screen which is pretty nice uh, here you can't see it until it's illuminated but that's the menu button and this is the back button on the top here is we have the proximity sensor and we do have a status LED light of course the speakers right there and uh, speaker phone slots right here on the back you have the 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and we'll demonstrate that in a bit and LED flash so very nice you know what I'm going to zoom on in here and we're going to power this guy on and keeping with the tradition I will power on the Samsung Galaxy Ace with a timer here so we can see exactly how quick it takes to turn on from a hard reset or off so let me keep, put the battery in there alrighty very cool and three two one did I do it there we go alright so while it is powering on I'm just going to go ahead and go over some specs it is a 3.5 inch uh, TFT LCD display capable of uh, showing 16 million colors this is at 320 by 480 resolution so it's nice to see they're not too big not too small it does have Gorilla Glass which is nice it's a uh, very durable uh, scratch resistant so not, while not indestructible it will resist scratches and uh, things of that nature uh, hold on I think it's almost there well, I guess not. Uh, moving right along, it has TouchWiz 3.0 uh, UI overlay uh, from Samsung, and that was pretty darn fast. Look at that. Let's see. Yeah, it's good to go. Uh, 36 seconds. That's not too shabby for an Android phone with a battery pull. So, uh, yeah, good to see that. Let me get this out of here. 36 seconds. I think we have a new world record holder <laughs> for the phones I've reviewed for the fastest turn on time. Uh, back to what I was saying, TouchWiz 3.0, as you can see here. Uh, uh, newest one from Samsung, uh, has 158 megabytes of onboard storage, not massive, this is an entry level device after all, uh, 800 megahertz single core processor, and 278 megabytes of RAM. Now there are reports that this was not running gingerbread, uh, it is, so I'm just going to go right down here, whoops, new, let's go back there, there we go, 234 and gingerbread, so it is running 234 Android, uh, sorry 2.3.4 and it's very nice to see that there. So let's go through the software. I don't know if you're accustomed to Samsung software or not, but it does have home screens uh, left and right, much like Android devices, uh, indicated by little bubble numbers up there. So you can see real quick exactly 
what's home screen you're on. If you go into the menu here, you do have a very nice black background and a bunch of icons. Very smooth performance. I have to say, considering it's only a single core 800 megahertz processor and it is an entry level device, it is pretty snappy. Check this out. So looking real close, we'll do a slow swipe. Very smooth. Can't complain there. Let's uh, go back home. Let's go into, I guess, settings, why not? And let's see how this works. Very smooth, nice bouncy effect when you get to the top and bottom. I mean, very nice. Actually, I wasn't really expecting this kind of uh, uh, smoothness, I guess, <laughs> out of this device, but uh, there you have it. And let's go back here. Not bad. And it does have a cool scroll effect here. Now, this looks different, of course, if you're used to um, Sensi UI from HTC or even stock Android. You do have shortcuts here, a little difference in um, TouchWiz 3.0 from Samsung. And you have shortcut GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound, and uh, auto-rotation. So, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and see how... Well, let's change the wallpaper. It does have live wallpaper support, and that's an ultimate test for any device to see how quickly it can respond to uh, user interaction. So then it only comes with one. Okay, four. So let's go ahead and enable that. Okay, and yeah, loaded it up pretty quickly. Uh, oh, cool. When you swipe left and right, the uh, trees, I guess, <laughs> light up little bubbles. Now, I'm interested to see how smooth this is. I don't know if you can see it, but it does suffer a bit. You do lose some frames per second just because, you know, you do have an animated wallpaper in the background. Uh, let's go to menu again. Let's see how quickly, with the live wallpaper test in the background. It's a little jaggedy. Uh, this is something even my Nexus One used to do. And that's just because there's something in the background. So yeah, it's about 15, maybe 20 frames per second, but hey, what are you gonna do? So for now, let's switch this guy back to the default wallpaper already. And I guess you'll see how this looks. Very smooth here, I mean, very snappy. Let's go ahead and, I like this blue one. Let's do that, yeah. Can't go wrong with that. All right, and I guess let's just go through some other stuff. There's the column menu. Nice big dial pad. Look at that. Takes up more than half the LCD screen. Very big. Let's see how fast it is. Very nice. And you're, they are categorized by categories here. So keypad, phone logs, your favorite contacts, and your whole contact list. No, oh, I have no friends. Oh, see. <laughs> so going back here, we can click the back button. Let's go again. Now for a five megapixel camera, I want to take a look at that for a second. Now there is no physical button for the camera, so we're gonna have to go into a menu and let's go to camera. Now let's make sure that it does indeed have autofocus. Oh, let's see. Let me get my little phone guy here. And virtual push. Oh yeah. Now there's no preview. Let's see. Let's turn flash on. Focus timer. Blah, blah, blah. Review. Yeah, let's turn it on. Why not? Two second review. Uh, that's back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm getting used to uh, those capacitive touch buttons. So let's take that picture with flash. Uh, not too bad. Actually, that's pretty cool. And you know what? Let's go on to the web browser. Alrighty. Internet. Let's go to, ah, let's go to Engadget. Oh, one thing I do want to mention the keyboard, uh, since you do see it right there. Let's see how quickly it rotates. Alrighty. Okay, and uh, it is a Samsung device, and it does have swipe by default. Uh, I'm not accustomed to it, so I'm not going to go ahead and use that in this case, but it does have swipe pre-installed. Very cool. Let's go to ngadget.com. All right, it's chugging away there. And, of course, it loaded the mobile version of the website. Pretty snappy. You see the bar, and it's done. Cool. Nice and smooth. Let's try pinch the zoom here. This is no contest, right? It's mobile version, so let's go all the way to the bottom, and let's go to desktop version. Now, right away, this does come with Android Gingerbread version 2.3.4, however, it does not support Flash, so despite its capability to do so, it's been disabled by Samsung, most likely because of the processor or just to make sure it won't affect performance. Keep in mind, there is no Flash support on this phone. Still chugging along there, all right, it's not loaded, so let's see how it reacts when it's not loaded yet. A eh, little choppy, let's try to pinch the zoom while it's still loading. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. Re renders the text pretty quickly, uh, formats it properly. Cool, look at that. All right, I guess we'll just wait for this to finish doing its thing. Of course, it's loading the advertisement. <laughs> and there, 
finished. Now let's see how it performs. Oh, wow. It's stopping like that on purpose because you're going a little too quick. This is a... Uh, Wow, I didn't expect this out of this phone. This is actually pretty good. This is like the BlackBerry Bull 9900, like my Android over there, uh, the Panache or my Touch 4G. Let's see how quickly it rotates. Wow, snappy. Let's try that again. Great. One more time. And let's go ahead and do the pinch to zoom. I like doing it with a text and picture mix. Let's see. Ah, oh, why not? Okay, let's zoom on in. Rendered. And it rendered. Wow, it, it's formatting a text very quickly. Even when I'm zoomed in very close, it's not checkerboarding. No artifacts, if you can see. Whoop. <laughs> a little too fast on the rotation there. Not bad. Let's zoom on out. Next, uh, YouTube. Well, you don't have to go to the website or the mobile version. It's built into it, just like any Android phone. So if you go to YouTube here, and as usual, I'll do a search of 300. Now again, uh, it may take a while to buffer, just because of the Wi-Fi connection here. So I'll make use, uh, best use of that as I can. Let's just... Search that up. Search for symbol 300. Go. And let me zoom in since we're doing the video now. All right. Okay, uh, movie trailer already. Let's make sure that volume is all the way up there. Very nice. Let's see how loud this guy is, too. All righty. Let's do a quick rotate. Rotates very quickly. Very nice. So, yep, there you have it, not too shabby. Of course, uh, if you actually have a good Wi-Fi connection or a good 3 or 4G connection, this would most certainly uh, make a difference there. Let's get back here. Okay, let's take a look at the gallery real quick. Boom and boom, all right. So, I'll organize the pictures in the small little dumps here. Not much here, I just took a few pictures for sample. And, uh, oh, very smooth, all right. Quick to rotate. Let's go ahead and, I guess, uh, this was a test to see how it picks up um, text. Do that real quick. Hmm, not too bad. I actually like that. Look at that. Very quick. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And as I always do, I want to take a look at how this phone performs in direct sunlight. So let's go on outside and take a look at that. Alrighty, so Samsung Ace. Let's see how this guy performs in sunlight. Bam. Turn it on. See the unlock screen already. Well, dark background isn't helping it at all here. <laughs> let's get it directly in sunlight here. If I can find the sun, there it is. Yeah, let's go to the here the call menu so you can actually see something. Keypad already. You can still make it out, which is cool. In direct sunlight, though, it goes straight to you know not very visible at all. <laughs> so, yep, move it around. Let's get back home here. Let's go to the menu. All these icons. You can still see in the sunlight. All right, so now let's take a look at the small things, things you may or may not have known about, small things to keep in mind that may make or break a decision to go out and buy the Samsung Ace. Well, first, what I really appreciate was the uh, charger port has a cover. So that's important for some people. Actually, it's nice to have there. It doesn't swing out. It's not like this design or anything like that. It's you know very cool, especially since you access it often. It's good to see it's protected there. Um, you can wake up the phone from the main button. What that means is if you're left-handed or you're not accustomed to pressing the power button on the side of the phone to wake it up, uh, you can actually press the middle button as well. Not to get passive a touch, but you can press the middle button. It'll wake up and say, what do you want to do? Okay, unlock, change your volume, whatever. Uh, now, despite the version of Android 2.3.4, keep in mind it does not have flash support. It does have a dedicated YouTube application, which is great to see. Of course, all Android phones pretty much have that nowadays, but there's no flash in the browser, which is fine. Uh, there also, there's also no camera button. So if you're a, a photoholic like me, you love taking pictures, just make sure you put a shortcut on your home screen or something like that so that you can have access to it. And the camera itself is very cool, especially since the flash on the camera itself will uh, come on before focusing. So when it decides to focus, it'll come on, it'll illuminate the subject, and then the brighter version of the flash will pop out and grab that picture. It does come with an optional white faceplate, which I do have here, which is very nice. Small things like this always go a long way. I mean, you know, just being able to change it. Plus, a lot of people get creative and decide to spray paint this their own color and put it on, you know, whatever suits you. It's very cool. And uh, last but not least, uh, you can hold menu to do a search. So what I realized, if you press the menu button here, hold it down, it activates the voice search option. So if you're wondering where that button was, it's just hidden. It's right there. And the fact that it comes with swipe built in and it's very quick to rotate, which is something that's very important because you do want to make sure this phone works with you. It's uh, very nice to see that there. And uh, a good combination of features makes the Samsung Ace a pretty good phone.
Again, this device Plyanakos from Wireless Insider. If you liked what you saw, please comment and subscribe. And until next time, take care.